Welcome to Factorio, my name is Nilaus, this is episode 93 of our Let's Play campaign. I think we are sort of approaching the point where I think episode 100 might be just the final episode. With the stuff we have going on, that seems like a reasonable place to end. So what we did was we got a bit of artillery shell range that gives us a bit further and also if we go in the manual mode we get quite a distance out here. Which is nice, but is it really necessary? I don't know. It's certainly not something we're going to bother with right now. What we do want is actually finding some other things that we should buy. So this one, I've had someone yelling at me in chat for saying, get this one. It's almost 100% extra. Well, it says 70%. First of all, that's not exactly 100. Second of all, if we look at hmm, where might the lasers, where might them lasers be? Can't see it there. This is 230%. So right now it's dealing 330% damage. And if I add another 70%, it'll deal 400% damage. So the increase is for 330 to 400. It's not nothing, but it's certainly not 100%. It's 20, 25% extra damage. I'll gladly take it. It's dirt cheap, so we'll take it. And we'll also take that one. Also dirt cheap, so we'll take those. Aside from this, well, we can we can just do a we can do a few of these now onwards to greener pastures we are going to do some design now and in order to do the design i actually think i need to make sure that this area is covered by robot ports because we need some robot thingies coming in what there there so that gives us a full robot port coverage well we are going to build a thing and then another thing. And this is always, always, always one of those things that just do not mesh well for me. I am just never able to make this satisfactory. Ha ha ha. I said satisfactory in a factory game. Ha 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 ha. <clears throat> So we are now looking at pretty much the most efficient way of doing it. This one will take one full lane in here. That'll be one to shovel it in, two to shovel it in there. I'm going to have another lane out here. I don't know. That's going to be something. And that's going to be the iron. And now the next point comes in. Now what? What now are we going to do? Well, I could do something like this. I suppose that's the best option we have at the moment. Well, that's actually not so bad. Um, hmm. The one issue is that this one has a tendency to... Well, it's only going to put on one side of the belt. And that's not enough. So... How would that be solved? Um, if I did this and selected another one, this is like one of the classical mistakes. Classic mistake, classic mistake. Well, the issue is here that now this one will be aligned. And that's a bad thing because then they're not as efficient. So we actually have to take this out. And then look at, and then say, where is the next possible location? The next possible location is actually right there, because that's where each of these will have the maximum okay. optimal number here, here, and here. How much distance do you have between these two? Like this. That one is not going to work anyway. I'm just going to try to figure out if... Yeah, okay. So this one is affected by zero sources. No source. Eight sources and eight sources. Yes. So that's 
the way it is. Now, granted that we have this uh, space in between, which we can play with somehow. That also gives us another opportunity for us to say, I might not even have to do this way. I might want to just make it mirrored or like this. Now that's not going to work because you have to pick it up from the same side. So I could do it something like this, right? And yeah, this is an option, but it only works for one. Another option is inserting It's really not very good. All right, we got this. Let's get a few more. They're pretty cheap, so we'll just get it. That'll help us a bit. So, let's get some of these. Now things are not blinking. Now that one could go in here. That would imply that I would also have something like this, right? And that means you could actually be inserting because that's on the outside. That would merge into the left hand side. While this one is, does that merge into the left or the right hand side? I don't know. How do I not know that? Uh, can I just take some greens? Yeah, let's take some greens. Thank you. Yes, so that actually solves another little problem there. That will at least get out on both sides evenly. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's odd. Really? So this is going to be iron. This is going to be copper. And we do have an issue in terms of our power poles, but power poles, we can deal with those later on. And if I just want to repeat this pattern, we'll just see that one. This is iron. This is copper. Copper needs two inbound. Actually might need more, doesn't it? No, it should be fine. I think. And hold on, what about another alternative? What if this one just outputs here? Then I don't think it works. I need more, more greens. It's the outside. That's not good. Because if it's on the outside here, it's on the outside there, then I'm not going to get anything. And it's only using, I'm now calling the outside, but the left, right hand side. That's no good. Obviously. So this is a no go. We can do it for one of them, but not the other one. So this one has to be outputting on this side. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, that's just the way it is. Now let's. Try to remove these because I don't think I'll be privileged enough to have them in here. However, we also need to start looking at what is the next thing going to be look like? Because if I look at this as a pattern, then when is it repeatable? It's repeatable here. It has to be repeatable in a way that uh, this one, every single one is not aligned or is misaligned with the beacons, which is what they have to be. Yes. And that means again, two bobs here. 
But everyone has eight beacons, and that's something. That is something, right? Now, if I look at this one, well... See, that means that this thing and that thing... Holy shit, that's amazing. Sorry for the swearing, but that's just way better than I've ever seen before. That is so strange, right? Did I just make something that makes sense? He said with puzzlement in his voice. Huh. Okay, well, I, I guess we'll give it a shot. Yes, these two need to be there as well. There is also an argument for saying that one of these needs to be... I mean, this one had, doesn't have to be as fast because if this one was ever so slightly fast, this is producing 1.4 per cycle, since the cycle is the same, and this one consumes 1.5 per cycle. So if this one was ever so slightly slower, that might actually be okay. But I want direct insertion everywhere. This is great. Now we need the other parts. Like so. Let's have a look at this one. What speed are you? Your speed 5.5. So enter the calculator. They are producing 2 per second times 5.5. 2 per second because it has craft time of 0 0.5. 2 per second multiplied by craft time 11 per second multiplied by 1.4. The, the productivity bonus. There we go. 15.4 is each one of these. Well, now we get, that means just this thing here is producing 60. But, oh no, he said, that's too much. I only need 45, right? Yeah, belts is 45. But if I then say, well, just take one out. However, then it's going to be woefully imbalanced. Unless, unless I allow the last one. to figure out what the hell it wants. That's actually not the last one. This is the first one. Yes, we're being technical here, but it actually is correct. This is the first one. And I actually have to do this because if I do that one, then it goes out on, uh, it goes out on the right side. It has to be this one that can choose. Why this one? Well, because the belt will already be full, so it has to be the last one, which means I have to redo the design. Basically by saying this doesn't exist. Let's try it. See? That works. So whichever side this one will add to, and that'll be a total of... That's so peculiar, isn't it? That assumes that these are working at full speed. Are they working at full speed, though? This is copper, this is iron. Is there anything preventing them from working at full speed? Well, first of all, these two don't need to be there anymore. Hmm. I am really puzzled that this seems to work. And this is going to be iron. Let's do some testing, right? If we say this one is working at full, full tilt, it is consuming, and it will be, two copper per second. And again, multiply by the crafting speed, 5.5, that's 11 per second. This is consuming 11, plus 11, plus 11. It's not enough. It's not actually very much. That's 33? It's really not much. But it is enough to fill up this belt. I can't believe this is enough. That's so strange. 
I, I'm, I'm just feeling that there's a, a miscalculation somewhere. That might be. Which would just mean that for each one of these, which is like purely small, that we, we can actually build 10 of these along the lines because this is eight and they're ex not exactly the same width. No, they're not. So let's try and design or just determine how many we could build across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I could build nine, but you know, eight seems to be the same choice because this one is clearly not a same choice that has to be out here this one has to be out here why am i never learning it because i started my making wrong this one okay so this one will just be somewhat ish in the middle at the back let's take a look at the distance one two yes One and almost two. Well, it can't be exact, but this is going to be as close as it can be. Cool. Right, now comes the worst part of it. It's the whole thing where I have to completely destroy the other thing just to give this a good testing. Let's tune it. Okay, iron comes in, copper comes in. I don't know, this just seems so wrong. Seems wrong that this thing can make a blue belt. Um, instead of doing more calculations, I'm simply going to test it. Ow. Well, I could get a full lane of copper, couldn't I? Yeah, I can get a full lane of copper and I can get a full lane of iron. We're going to do it up here. We're going to do a test. And we are going to steal a line of iron. I'll just do that one. And let's see, why is this one not placed? They are. All right. Um, copper on the left, of course. And to the people who's, who are watching and like, oh my God, you're so stupid. Let me be stupid to just a second and probably I'll find the source of my stupidity. So please bear with me. Hold your angry comments for just a while longer. You can spend the time and coming up with good insults about my weak intellect instead. And I want this need this to be continuous. That's pretty far away from being a full belt. Nah, it's getting closer. The one thing we do have though is the issue of uh, of the swings. Now we need to take a look at, first of all, they are doing fine. Are you able to keep up? That's fine, but the insert of iron is not able to keep up from the simple perspective. That one, yes. Really? This is clearly doing just fine. That goes, that goes red once in a while because they cannot unload fast enough. Right, so this is actually... If I look at it... It 
do I get stuck somehow somehow there? Okay. I got some learnings. That's good. That's why we're here. And we'll take more. That'll be 4,000 of this, 4,000 of that. Fine. Now we're getting close to those 100% that was alluded at. Now, I'm going to do a different design. This design will be pretty much the same, except different. Aha. See the difference? It will use a slightly more space. And the trade-off here... And now comes the big challenges. How the hell would we then get that one in? I guess that's it, right? Well, if I didn't have this one, I could actually get two belts out. I think we're onto something here. What if I have two belts outbound? And they then merge in here? Then they should be inherently balanced. And oops, copy. Let's see if this sorts itself out. <clears throat> Clearly it does not. Here. No, that's not working because they insert on the same side. So that'll have to be this one. Here we try again. That's fine. They go out on both sides. That's what we wanted to see. Right. And that means the other one has to be it through maybe this one then has to be like this then and since this one is the last then it should have a lot more flexibility because if this is going to be iron or steel the copper Then I don't need it here, which means I can output this one, one on this side, which will go to the right, another one, which will go that side. This is perfectly okay. And then I'll have two of these and one of those. This is going to be the guaranteed way of doing it. And then every single one, I'm going to have one, one, and one, but it'll also have a little helper. Yeah, you'll have a little helper. Everyone will have a little helper afterwards. A little blue helper, a little me too. No, me six, ha, not me too. That's not helping anyone. There, there we go. Wow, that is the oddest thing I have then done, but I like it. Though this thing is just merging each one can output on both sides no this one can only output on that side this one can only output on that side but the top one can then say you know what i'll just add whichever one wants it more or whatever we want to say and that means this is now a new layout which i would guess is causing so let's do it from the middle one two three four five six seven eight nine good so that one that one no problems at all. 
no problems at all. There. So this is not a problem to support it. Now we will take our new design, the version 2. And hold on, there is another little issue, and that's uh, in terms of power. But is that really a big issue? Not really. Because I can... I can do that, like, here. And then... Or far down you want it, I'll just put another one. That's no impact at all. Yeah, let's do that. And we got that sorted. How far is it? Yeah, it reaches plenty of space. All right, that's an interesting one. I am not going to commit it to our book until we see that it's a put good has potential. So let's deconstruct this. And reconstruct. Hmm. Inventory full. Oh yeah, well, who cares. And let's see, this one is going to be the... <clears throat> Obviously, it's going to be opposite this time. There. Yes. Let's give it a shot. do it this way so it's going to start up balanced all right this is exciting it is not exciting at all when i forget to put these in this one puts it out on both sides puts it on both sides this one is not really doing much why are you not doing much you don't have any cables because i'm an idiot there we go. You can also have these cables so you don't complain so much. Right, let's see. That looks much more like a full belt than it should be. I think it's really an interesting way I've, uh, I've found a workable way. I mean, ideally there could be more, right? This one outset outputs on the outside, right? So if I set this one as well, okay, first of all, let's go through every single one. This one, there's a little blink of red. It's definitely not our input, input here, but that's to be expected. If this is fully working as a maximum, then once in a while, because it's only getting 1.4 in and it needs 1.5. So it's the fact that this one is getting slight blinks of red is intended and intentional. This one is absolutely not a problem. It gets shoved out as fast as it goes in and this one never gets anywhere near anything. This one, it has those small short blinks of red, which is something I can't do anything about because this one is fully saturated all the time everywhere. Yep. I like it. And yes, it does slip up once in a while here, like that. I am just considering if I really want to be consistent, then I'd have to do this. I shit you not, that is how I need to do it. And I suppose... If I did all of them like this, would it be better? Well, I don't know. It's really weird to do this. 
but I think this is actually a slightly better solution. Because this one is inserting on the left hand side, this one is coming in on the right hand side, this one goes on the left hand side, this one goes on the left hand side, but the left hand side in here. So that's slightly different. That is so wonky and I like it. And it works and, and it's really strange. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. So be sure, and I'm sure you found some good insults for, for the comment section. So uh, be sure to share them and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we implement this. Thank you for joining. See you next time. Take care and be sure to like and stay effective and all that good stuff next time.